Edna, begin recording. It feels both like a lifetime ago, and only yesterday that I began my travels, going from Brotherhood Outpost to Brotherhood Outpost, crossing the ruins of this great country. At first, I did it as part of my duties as a Paladin Special Field Operative, collecting data for the regional chapters, from Lost Hills to Hidden Valley, to Fort Worth and the Alamo. That chapter was full of some real gung-ho types, to the Capital Wasteland in the Citadel, to Boston International and the Pridwin, passing through every town, encampment, trading post, and point of interest along the way, all the way to Massachusetts and Nuka World, when I was trying to find Ranger Helen Tanner and that android, collecting and telling stories across this vast wasteland. Somehow it's fitting that, in my pursuit of stories, I find my way back down through Appalachia, clearing out the ruins of a mental hospital once occupied by the Brotherhood, Fort Defiance, then up the region called the Savage Divide to Fort Atlas. Brotherhood has been long gone from these places for over a century. Did they abandon Appalachia? Or were they wiped out? The scant records I picked up were inconclusive, aside from the first Appalachian Brotherhood contingent, Taggarty's Thunder, which met their end at the hands of the Scorched, and a vicious aerial predator they called the Scorch Beast. Records left at Fort Atlas hinted that they had come from a post in the Midwest. So Edna and I followed their trail to Chicago. The city ruins were overwhelmed by raider gangs and super mutants. All I found were scrap pieces of armor, rusted and half-torn sigils and the last resting places of a few paladin squads. Talon, Fang, Brimstone, just to name a few. I've lived many decades. Met some of the big names in the history books. Well, if they ever start writing them again. Of the Wasteland. Former NCR President Tandy. The Vault Dweller of Vault 111. Harold, so maybe it was old age catching up to me. They got me in this mess, getting gut shot by a super mutant master while clearing out the remains of a base that had, at one time, <coughs> been an operating station for the chapter near Bunker Delta outside of Junction City. Maybe it was age. Maybe this armor of mine had been patched up too many times. Damn bastard got a shot off through a weak spot in the abdomen of my armor. I used up my stem packs and did my best to try and staunch the bleeding with a field dressing. Using what was left of a Brotherhood flag, though I hated to desecrate it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Went through several fusion cells in my AER-9 tri-beam laser rifle. But with Edna's support, I finally wiped out the truth. Unfortunately, all that moving tore me back open. And I'm all out of chems. Fusion core is nearly drained too. And I didn't have much luck finding replacements in Chicago. 
Peoria, uh, Canyon City, St. Louis, uh, or Junction City. The few I had on hand, I burned through. And most of what I found uh, were already drained. Just barely enough uh, to get me to the next lucky break. If I didn't know any better, I'd almost assume I'd passed through King Lud's Luddite territory. Some signs point at the Enclave having come through here at some point. They probably scavenged the good stuff when they were here. Most likely during the egress from the west coast to Raven Rock in the capital. I've uploaded everything I've recorded so far onto a series of holotapes and placed them inside of Edna's body housing for safekeeping. As soon as this recording is over, I'll be sending her to find the nearest active outpost. I've had her record my rank and service ID to her memory banks. Treat her right. She's been the best friend I've ever had. I'm sorry to say that I won't get to see what the future of the wasteland holds. I just hope that everything I've collected over the years, the research, the stories, the reconnaissance, helps the Brotherhood, or whoever finds Edna first, to make the wasteland a better place. To avoid repeating the mistakes of the past and, and the present, that's all I can do now, is hope. It's okay, Edna. I knew this was likely how I'd go down after all these years. We had a good run, girl. Don't give me that look. I'm sure the next paladin that finds you will do right by you, long as they don't mistake you for an enclave model. Your story still has more chapters to be written. If you can try to get to El Mirage Lake in California, I hear tale that Elder Maxon made it back out west and brought some reform out that way, though I don't know if it will match up to what old man Lyons managed. But unfortunately, this is where my story ends. End recording.